Hi, my name is Amy Biedenbach. I'm the Park Services Specialist for Washington Oaks Garden State Park. We are so excited today. We have 40 volunteers here waiting to help release 200 hatchling sea turtles, greens, loggerheads, and kemps, all from a cold stun event up in North Carolina. The animals are all going to be released with the help of all these wonderful volunteers into the Atlantic Ocean right behind me where the waters are a little bit warmer for them. This is a cooperative effort between Georgia Department of Natural Resources, South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, North Carolina Wildlife Commission, and Florida's Fish and Wildlife Commission, as well as Washington Oaks Garden State Park. So we're ready for the turtles! First of all, Thank you for coming and doing this. This is the fun part of the job, right? Who doesn't want to release baby turtles? Um, so I'm glad that y'all came to help with this today. There's a large number of us, which is awesome, but I don't know that he's going to need everybody's hands on the animals. So the first thing I want to tell you is, please forgive me, but I'm a mom and I was a teacher for a short time. Mark is in charge. <laughs> so the gentleman who's coming from Georgia Department of Natural Resources. His name is Mark. Um, he is in charge of this whole thing. So when he gets here, we're going to do the EF Hutton thing and let him tell us how he wants this to go. All right, well, um, wow, what a great turnout. I really appreciate all the help. Um, my name's Mark Dodd. I'm the Sea Turtle Program Coordinator for Georgia Department of Natural Resources. Um, Ashley Raybold, also from Georgia DNR, and Sheldon. Um, Ashley works with the Sea Turtle Project. Sheldon, actually, if she looks a little disoriented, she's usually in the office doing permits, so she gets outside. <laughs> also, if, um, it, if I don't smell really great, it's because I've been cooped up with, you know, 110 um, sea turtles in the van. These two don't, if they smell bad, they don't have any excuse because they, the turtles were in the back of the truck. The the um, but anyway, I really appreciate everybody coming out and helping. Um, these turtles are actually from North Carolina. I'm sure you know, um, Matthew Godfrey, my counterpart, North Carolina, um, they've had a big uh, cold stun event. So this is about 165 animals. I think they're all green turtles except for one Kemp's. All pretty small, mostly dinner plate size. And um, they've had somewhere in the neighborhood of 750 to 800 turtles in the last three days. And so the Coast Guard helped them drop some of those animals directly offshore North Carolina in the Gulf Stream uh, yesterday. They'll have another boat going out either tomorrow or the, or the next day, but they had some animals they needed to get out um, relatively quickly. And so they, they sent them our way. And so South Carolina DNR actually picked them up at the North Carolina, South Carolina, and then we met them at a, um, at a gas station in switched them over. It felt, felt kind of weird. It felt like a like a like a weird you know drug deal or something. Yeah, just got some turtles back and forth, but uh, and we got them here. So um, what we'll need to help with is um, we're going to throw our wetsuits on really quick. But um, they're all in boxes, um, cardboard boxes, and uh, they're primarily um, some of the boxes are have gotten a little wet underneath. So we'll need help just carrying the boxes down to the beach. Make sure you just support underneath the box because some of them have gotten a little bit soggy. And um, and then we'll just, we'll have a few people, we want to try to release them in the water. So many of y'all have probably done this before and have participated in these kinds of releases, but we just want to um, at least be, you know, at least needy. But the surf looks pretty good out there actually. So um, we want to be at least past the wave rush so they can swim off. And we want to release them in the water so they can swim off. So we'll probably just have group, groups of people handing us turtles. Um, we want to do it relatively quickly. It's a lot of turtles, but we want to get it done by dark. And so we'll we'll just let them go. We've got us. I just brought my surfboard in case somebody decides they don't want to go out. They're going to get paddled out, you know, all the way out there. Um, and so, and the only other thing we've, we've brought some gloves for people that will help handle the turtles. Different size latex gloves that y'all can use. And um, also. Um, the only other thing, handling small green turtles, they're really easy to handle. They're, they're not very heavy, and they um, will probably have, maybe if there's a core group of people, maybe 10 or 15 people that have handled turtles before, we'll use y'all to lift them out of the box and then hand them to us in the water. Um, the main thing is just try to control the front flippers. We don't want them to flap around too much because there's, in the past, we've had problems with um, animals actually ending up with fractures of their humerus bones and their flippers because they just get excited and flap around too much. They're small animals, so it's really easy to pick it up and, and control the front flippers when you hand it off. And obviously, we don't want to drop any turtles, and we want to be really careful. 
Um, they're in pretty good shape. Every one of these animals that we have has already been put in a tank and um, they were all swimming around great. They all look pretty healthy and fat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew you. <laughs> yeah. Large. What do you think? Yeah. They're, oh, they're not heavy at all. Okay. So here's an example. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. They are pretty Two big. Two pretty little green turtles. Oh, wow. They have pretty, pretty uh, pink nail polish. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, North Carolina. I mean, we might put something. 10, 11, 15. I will. Why we do our job. <laughs> we love it. We love it. You must be proud of all the people that have shown up today. I'm so proud of them. These guys are so excited. We've been talking about this for years. And I've been Sheldon can help move back and forth, and we have another guy who's going to the water and help move him. He already told me, he gave it to me. He gave it to me, he told me to hold it. Yeah. Alright, now you see him. If you have gloves on, he asked you to. Come on over to the boxes and be ready to pull them out. If you don't have gloves on, if you could get just a little bit out of the way so that these guys have a straight shot. <laughs> As yep. we come in, just give us turtles. All right, club personnel, just save yourselves at the boxes. We're ready to go. Yep, good to go. Yep. <laughs>